There's no question that deciding to keep pigs, as with any livestock, is a big responsibility. You've got to be sure that you can give them the space, the time and the commitment to look after them well. Having said that, pigs are really not all that demanding. They don't need a vast expanse of pristine pasture. A nice bit of rough ground like this is absolutely perfect. A few nettles, docks and thistles don't matter a bit. The key to success is just a little bit of preparation, some careful thought beforehand. Think about the ground you're going to put them on, think about the sty you're going to keep them in, the kind of feed they're going to have. Just have a plan for how you're going to look after your pigs and make sure that they're happy, contented and well fed throughout their lives. You'll get the best out of them and they'll do well by you. Once you've settled on a patch of land for your pigs, the next thing to consider is how to keep them in. Pigs are great escapologists, especially little piglets, and they love to try and get their snouts under anything and burrow out. So it's really important to have a tight, stock-proof fence. And in order to stop them snuffling their way underneath, a single strand of tightly stretched barbed wire, as tight as you can get to the ground, is a really good way to keep them in. If that's not practical, then you might have to be looking at an electric fence. An electric wire just a few inches above the ground. Once they've touched that once with their nose, they won't be coming back again in a hurry. One quite handy thing about the electric wire is that it does allow you to divide up your pig pasture into several portions so that you can strip feed the pigs across it, putting them onto some fresh ground every now and again while the other patch recovers. That should do it. Pigs really love to have some shade and they love a bit of cover. So if you've got a nice hedge on one side of the patch of ground that you're planning to use as a pig run, it makes a lot of sense to fence that hedge inside the run rather than outside. Once you've fenced in a suitable run, it's time to think about housing, which can be either homemade or off the shelf. This is the classic pig arc, three meters by three meters. It can happily accommodate a sow and her litter or four or five growing pigs. If you're reasonably proficient with a hammer and nails, it isn't that hard to knock up a fairly serviceable pigsty, but do try and make sure it's weatherproof. A bit of corrugated iron on the top certainly helps to keep the rain out. This is where my pigs lived last year and the year before. I'm giving it a rest for a couple of years. In fact, I'm giving the whole of this pig run a rest. The wisdom is, and I remember Peggy telling me this when I first took on a couple of pigs, you should never keep pigs on the same bit of ground for more than two years in a row. The ground can become what's called pig sick, which means the animals are more susceptible to picking up bugs and diseases. So I'm going to let this lot lie fallow for a couple of years and then I'll be welcoming my pigs back into their old home. This is a particularly impressive self-build, certainly out of my league. In fact, it's making me a little bit jealous. This is a very nice patch of ground for four little pigs, but there is one serious problem in the whole of this run, there isn't a single bit of shade, not a tree, not a shrub. Now, it is quite important that pigs get out of the sun. Now, of course, they can go into their sty or their ark, but a galvanised pig ark or an ordinary homemade sty with a corrugated tin roof really heats up quite a lot on a sunny day. So the whole point of this design is to keep the sty lovely and cool. We've put a turf roof on top of the tin Thick clods of growing turf, grass coming out of it, sitting on top of the tin roof, should keep the sty lovely and cool, even on the hottest day. Hopefully they'll soon get the idea that on a really sunny day, the coolest place for them to be is back in the sty. When the time comes to choose your pigs, it's essential to have at least a pair. Pigs are gregarious creatures and won't thrive if left on their own. So two or three young wieners, nine or 10 weeks old, are a perfect way to get started. There are many different breeds of pig to choose from. 
from Gloucester Old Spots and Saddlebacks to Tamworths, Middle Whites and Berkshires. All of these so-called rare breeds tend to be hardy and suitable for the slow-growing outdoor life that will produce the finest meat. They're like a dog. You let them get friendly with you. Let them come to you. My first pigs were a pair of Gloucester Old Spots. But you don't have to choose a pedigree. Some argue that crosses are more robust. One question that's sure to arise is whether you're going to choose girls or boys. My view is that it really doesn't matter. Both can provide you with some excellent meat. But it certainly makes sense to choose piglets of the same sex to avoid problems when they reach sexual maturity. Obviously, if you want a farrow piglets, you'll need a breeding sow. He's got his, he's got his nose in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's their way of saying, I'm not sure about you. <laughs> You're going to have your look, shoe off in look. a minute, or your trousers. <laughs> that is typical of a Gloucester old spot. I think it's these two, really. These isn't it? two? Yes, please. I was particularly lucky to find Peggy. Right. Not only did she supply me with some superbly healthy and robust piglets, she kept an eye on me for my first couple of seasons of pig keeping. Come on, Charlie. Having contact with an experienced pig keeper who you can turn to for advice is a tremendous bonus. So if at all possible, get yourself a pig mentor. Gosh, it's hot work. <laughs> if all goes well, even with your first stab at pig rearing, you should end up with happy, healthy animals that present you with the most fantastic carcasses. And the next big question is, what are you going to do with all this wonderful pork? Well, that's what our Pig in a Day course here at River Cottage HQ is all about.